History was just made in space. For the first time ever, scientists detected X-rays coming from an interstellar comet. And the object is 3I Atlas. Japan's X-RISM telescope caught something no one has seen before, a massive glowing cloud stretching 250,000 miles around this visitor from another star system. Let me show you what they found. Thanks for being here with me today. Before we start, I wanna ask you something. Where you're watching from and what time it is there. I love hearing from all of you around the world. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button. We're covering every update on 3i Atlas as it happens. All right, let's talk about this discovery. Between November 26th and 28th, 2025, Japan's space agency, JAXA, pointed their X-ray telescope at 3i Atlas. The telescope is called X-RISM. It's designed to see X-rays from space, which normal telescopes can't see. And for 17 hours straight, X-RISM watched this comet. What they found shocked everyone. A faint X-ray glow surrounding the comet, not just a little glow. This thing stretches about 400,000 kilometers out from the center. That's roughly 250,000 miles. To give you an idea, that's about the distance from Earth to the moon. This is huge news because scientists have tried to detect X-rays from interstellar objects before. They tried with the first interstellar visitor, one I Oumuamua back in 2017, nothing. They tried with two I Borisov in 2019, nothing. 3i Atlas is the first interstellar visitor to show X-rays. Dr. Avi Loeb from Harvard University wrote about this discovery. He explained that before this detection, 3i Atlas was only seen in regular light, ultraviolet, infrared, and radio waves. But X-rays, this is brand new. So why is this important? Because X-rays tell us how the comet interacts with the solar wind. They show us the chemistry, the composition, things we can't see with normal telescopes. Now, you might be wondering, how does a comet produce X-rays? Let me explain this in simple terms. Comets are basically dirty snowballs. When they get close to the sun, the ice heats up and turns into gas. This gas forms a big cloud around the comet called a coma. Now, the sun constantly shoots out something called the solar wind. It's a stream of charged particles basically tiny bits of matter flying through space at incredible speeds. When the solar wind hits the gas cloud around the comet, something interesting happens. The charged particles from the sun crash into the neutral atoms in the gas. This collision strips electrons off the atoms. Then those electrons jump back into place. And when they do that, they release energy in the form of X-rays. This process has a scientific name, charge exchange. Scientists first discovered it in 1996 with a comet called Hyakutake. Since then, they've seen it in dozens of comets from our own solar system. But 3i Atlas? This is the first time we've seen it from a comet that came from another star system. Why did it take so long to detect? Timing. 3i Atlas passed closest to the sun on October 29th, 2025. But during that time, it was hidden behind the sun from Earth's view. X-ray telescopes need to stay far away from the sun's glare. They can only look at objects that are at least 60 degrees away from the sun in the sky. So X-RISM had to wait. Once 3i Atlas moved far enough away from the sun's glare in late November, they could finally observe it safely. The X-RISM team released their findings on December 3rd, 2025. They posted it to something called the Astronomer's Telegram, which is how scientists share quick discoveries with each other. Here's what the data shows. The X-ray glow is diffuse. That means it's spread out, not concentrated in one spot. It forms a kind of elongated cloud centered on the comet's nucleus, which is the solid icy core. The team processed the images carefully. They removed noise from the detector. They accounted for the comet's motion across the sky. And after all that, the glow is still there, real, confirmed. The spectrum, which is basically a breakdown of the X-ray light by energy, shows emission lines from carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. These are elements in the comet's coma. This confirms the X-rays are coming from 3i Atlas itself, not from some background source. But here's something interesting. The scientists say they need to do more analysis. Why? Because telescopes can sometimes create false signals. 
effects like vignetting, where the image gets darker at the edges, or detector noise can create patterns that look like real emissions. So while they're confident they detected x-rays, they want to make absolutely sure before making final conclusions. That's good science. That's how it should be done. 3i Atlas is special for a lot of reasons. First, it's only the third confirmed interstellar object we've ever seen. The first was Oumuamua in 2017. The second was Borisov in 2019. And now we have 3i Atlas in 2025. But 3i Atlas is different. It's bigger, more active. And unlike Oumuamua, which showed no common activity at all, 3i Atlas acts like a comet. It has a tail, it releases gas, it brightens as it gets closer to the sun. The X-ray detection confirms something important. Interstellar comets respond to the solar environment in similar ways to comets from our own solar system. The chemistry might be different, the ratios of elements might be unusual, but the basic physics is the same. The charge exchange process works the same way. The interaction with the solar wind follows the same rules. This tells us that the conditions in other star systems, at least where 3i Atlas formed, aren't completely alien. There are similarities to our own solar system. Scientists are now comparing the size of the X-ray glow from 3i Atlas to other comets. Normal solar system comets, like Hyakutake, show smaller X-ray halos, usually limited to the inner coma. But 3i Atlas has this huge extended glow stretching hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Why is it so big? One theory is that 3i Atlas is releasing more gas than typical comets. More gas means a bigger coma, which means a larger area for the solar wind to interact with, creating more x-rays. Another possibility is that its orbit and speed through space create different conditions. It's moving fast on a path that will take it out of our solar system forever. Maybe that affects how the gas spreads out? We don't know yet. Scientists are still analyzing the data. Three, I Atlas is currently moving away from the sun. It passed perihelion, its closest point back on October 29th. Now it's heading back into deep space. On December 19th, 2025, it will reach its closest point to Earth. That's just seven days from now. It'll be about 269 million kilometers away. That's far, but close enough for telescopes to get really good observations. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is planning more observations in December. Hubble is continuing to monitor it. Ground-based telescopes are tracking it as it moves through the constellation Leo. The x team says they'll keep refining their data. They want to map the exact shape of the X-ray emission. They want to measure the intensity more precisely. And they want to understand exactly how the comet's gas interacts with the solar wind. This information will help when future interstellar visitors come through our solar system. And they will come. As our telescope technology gets better, we're going to find more of these objects. The Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile is starting operations now. It'll scan the entire sky every few nights, looking for anything that moves. Experts think we'll start detecting smaller, fainter interstellar objects much more frequently in the coming years. Each one will teach us something new about other planetary systems, about how comets and asteroids form around different stars, about the diversity of objects in our galaxy. 3i Atlas is showing us the way. So let's recap what we learned today. JAXA's x telescope detected X-rays from interstellar comet 3i Atlas between November 26th and 28th, 2025. This is the first time X-rays have been detected from any interstellar object. The X-ray glow extends about 250,000 miles from the comet's center. The emission comes from charge exchange, where the solar wind interacts with gas in the comet's coma. And scientists are still analyzing the data to understand exactly what's happening. This discovery opens up a new way to study interstellar visitors. X-ray observations can reveal chemistry and composition that other telescopes miss. Now I want to hear from you. What do you think about this discovery? Are you excited about the James Webb observations coming in December? Let me know in the comments. And again, tell me where you're watching from and what time it is there. I really do read these comments. If you found this information valuable, please hit the like button. It helps other people discover these videos. Share it with anyone who's interested in space and astronomy. And make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. We're covering the December 19th close approach next week. Thanks for being here with me. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.